All right, we're gonna do some questions about the normal distribution, which are much easier than they look as long as you know how to use a z-score table. I've got a question here about black radishes that have a mean mass of 87.2 grams and a standard deviation of 10.5 grams. We're asked for the fraction of black radishes that weigh less than 80 grams. The mean gets the symbol mu, and the standard deviation gets the symbol sigma. The amount that you're asked about, in this case 80 grams, that's the threshold, is going to be called x. And your job is to calculate a z-score for that particular radish. z is x minus mu over sigma, so all you have to do is plug the numbers in. x is 80 grams, mu, the mean, is 87.2 grams, and sigma, the standard deviation, is 10.5. When you subtract 87.2 from 80, you get negative 7.2. Divided by 10.5, here's where I'm going to pick up my calculator. Negative 7.2 divided by 1, no, 10.5. And I get negative 0 0.69. Negative 0 0.69. I always round my z-scores to two decimal places because the z-scores in the z-score table are always to two decimal places. Let's see if I can get the zoom to work right on this. I'm looking for negative 0.69. So here's my negative 0.6 portion, and the headings on each column give you the second decimal place. I have 0.69, so I want this column. So I'm gonna follow that column all the way down, 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 down to negative 0.69. That's 0.2451. By definition, this table is giving you the fraction that is less than whatever threshold you picked. So, let's come back out here for the question. This negative 0.69 corresponded to 0.2451 which means 24.51% of radishes weigh less. That part of the question is done. But what if you're asked what fraction weigh more than a certain threshold? Well, all you have to do is find the z-score for this, look it up in the table, and then subtract the answer you get from 1. But let's work on it together. The z here is 90, because that's the mass we're asked about. That's our x. The mean is still the same. What was it, 87.2? Yeah, something like that. And we're gonna divide it by 10.5, just like before. I can do all this at once on the calculator. 90 minus 87.2, check. I pressed equals, then divided by 10.5, done. I get 0 0.27, and it's positive, positive 0 0.27. I'm going to look that up in the table, too. Now, all the z's on this page were negative, but all the z's on this page are positive, 0 0.27. I'm going to have to zoom in again and focus properly. So, here's my 0 0.2. And here's my seven column. So the answer is 0 0.6064. But again, that means that 60.64% of radishes weigh less than 90 grams. These tables always give you less than. Let's write that down. 60.64% of radishes weigh less than 90 grams. 60.64%. Of radishes weigh less than 90 grams. If you want the percent that weighs more, you just have to subtract this from 100. 100 minus 60.64 gives me 39.36% of radishes that weigh more. That weigh more than 90 grams. Pretty easy, you just have to flip the number that the table gives you when you're asked for more than a certain threshold. The final question here is going to be what fraction weigh between 80 and 90? If you're asked for a what fraction 
are between two thresholds, you'll usually have to calculate a Z for both. Now, I already did these numbers, so when I was 80, I believe the Z score was negative zero. Oh, negative 0 0.69. And when the, the radish weighed 90, the Z score was plus 0 0.27. If I flash back here, it was 24.51% way less than 80. And then my 0.27 gave me 60.64%. 4% way less than 90. Now, if I want to calculate the amount in between, I need to take the 60.64, which is all the radishes up to 90, and cut away 24.51, which is all the radishes up to 80. If I draw my curve here, and I'm looking for this segment, just this segment, I can find it by calculating this whole segment and subtracting away this one. So, if you're asked for a between, do it for both thresholds and subtract the difference. 60.64 minus 24.51 gives me, I'm going to whip out the calculator for that, 60.64 minus 24.51 gives me 36.13, 36.13% of radishes are between 80 and 90. Oh, you can't even see what I'm writing. There you go, grams. Cool, so that's how to do all of these Z-score questions. You've gotta be able to use the Z-score table if you wanna get anywhere with it. There was a shortcut that I didn't tell you about for the betweens, because if you already have the stuff that's less than 80, and you already have the stuff that's more than 90, you could just cut both of those percents away from 100, and you should also end up with this amount. Cool, seven minutes, pretty fast. To learn the normal distribution, you'll have to be able to convert uh, percents into Zs by looking them up in the table, but that's another video. Best of luck.